All right, our tip of the week this week is using the surface painter. I really love using the surface painter when it comes time for rendering because it's, you'll see very quickly when, it, when you're rendering that you haven't adjusted a surface correctly. Um, and most of the time that's multiple surfaces that are like that. So the surface painter I think is really great when you need to go in and quickly change surfaces on just one side um, without having to adjust the settings of the entire element. So to get to our surface painter, we go up to our windows menu, we come down to palettes and we go to our surface painter. And that pops up with this window right here. On the left hand side, we're going to see all of the available surfaces. So this is our surface library right here. And this is the surface of the elements that you have selected. So now we can search for a specific surface that we're looking for and double click that surface to open up that surface settings. Okay, and that'll get you to that surface settings window that we were just looking at. So you can use this in a variety of ways. Um, you can use it as the eyedropper to pick up the surfaces that are currently being used for that to be able to go to the surface settings of a specific surface that's being used or you can adjust it prior to using it by searching for it here. Um, within our surface painter we can add surfaces to the project by clicking add to project and that is going to um, bring us to the Graphisoft downloadable page where we can download the premium content for ARCHICAD surfaces. All right, so selecting the eyedropper and we grab an eyedrop this wall here. It's gonna show us these two surfaces are being shown for this wall. We have our white wash walls and our solid brick surface, okay? So now we can select any other surface within here click our paintbrush color, and then we can just click on the edges that need to be overridden for a surface. This works exactly the same as a surface override if I were to go into the settings of that surface. Um, so what I end up doing with this is I click my, my Walkman guy down at the bottom of the page, and I fly through the project looking at each service to make sure, surface, to make sure it is being shown um, as I have intended it, um, and doesn't come up missing when we're in a rendering type setting. Um, and then it's as easy as going through and selecting the surface you want to override, uh, finding what you want to override it to, and it's you just go through and click and, and paint. If any of you are old enough to remember the old school paint that came on, you know, all the original Windows computers where you draw a box, you drop a color in that box, the whole box turns that color. That's exactly what our surface painter is doing here. Um, if I want to match a surface to something else, so let's say that this wood piece right here is supposed to be the same white uh, wash that it is here. I could eyedropper this color and then hit my paint button and then click right there, and then that will change that surface to be the same paint color that's right here. So it's an easy way to match colors when um, the matching piece has been missed. 